Hi everyone. Today I take up a new question in uh, the subject of chart work and uh, today's question will involve finding courses and distance um, between uh, positions uh, that you have to derive on the chart. So it's a simple question, but you have to be mindful of a few things. Uh, for this question, we need uh, Australian chart 802. And if you don't have this chart, don't worry about it. Read the question and think how you would have gone about solving the question if you had the chart with you. So let's get started with the question. And uh, the question says that uh, from a position with the Cape Lip Trap Light bearing 040 degrees true and a sounding showing 20 meters, you have to set a course to a position with a Citadel Island light bearing 350 degrees true and distance of 3.8 nautical miles, uh, then to a position one mile due south of a Southeast Point lighthouse and from there you have to go to a geographical position of 38 degrees 54.1 minutes south and 146 degrees 38.2. So you can see there are a few positions involved here. One position is of course uh, where the bearing of the Cape Lip Trap Lighthouse is bearing 040 degrees true and a sounding uh, depth showing 20 meters. From there you have to uh, go on a course till you reach uh, the Citadel Island Lighthouse and you have to bear 350 degrees true uh, at a distance of 3.8 nautical miles. From there you have to go to another position uh, which is one mile due south of Southeast Point Lighthouse and from that position you have to finally go to a position 38 54.1 south and 146 38.2. So you have to derive these positions on the chart and then draw the courses and measure the distances between it. So there are a few courses and distance involved in it and this will be very similar to what you do on the ship where you have a few courses between the waypoints and you have to measure the course and uh, measure the distance between each of the waypoints. So let's get started to see how I would solve the question. Uh, but if you don't have the chart, imagine yourself uh, how you would go about it. What would be your approach to solving this question? All right, so the first thing we'll do to solve this question is find where is Cape Lip Trap Light and like I said before uh, in my previous videos that if uh, you are familiar with the chart you will easily find it. Uh, I was not very familiar with this chart but I have made myself familiar in the last uh, couple of uh, few days or so. So here is Cape Lip Trap otherwise just take your time and try to find the geographical uh, feature that they are asking you to find. Alright so this is Cape Lip Trap and I will be uh, drawing a bearing of 040 degrees true. Uh, till the sounding shows 20 meters. So let me show you how. So you can see my parallel ruler is uh, laid out here in the direction of uh, 040 and uh, you can see that I have taken the inner edge of the parallel ruler here and uh, I have taken the inner edge not the outer edge but the inner edge of the parallel ruler which is uh, more accurate. So it is laid out in the direction of 040 to 220. So I'll be moving the parallel ruler towards the Cape Lip Trap Lighthouse and drawing it in the direction of 040. So of course I will not draw it towards the land. So if there is any confusion, do not be confused. You will always draw the uh, position line towards C because that's where your vessel will be. And I will draw a, a line through the lighthouse of the Cape Leap Trap. And uh, that is my 040. Now what is giving my position is uh, the second hint which says that it's a sounding of 20 meters. So you have to look carefully now here there are sounding contours drawn. So these lines that you see, they are sounding contours. Now what are sounding contours? They join lines of equal depth. All right. So here you can see the depth is mentioned here in the form of a number. This is 15 meters. This is 20 meters. This is 30 meters. So you have to join it till the position of 20 meters because that's the hint in the question. So this is where your uh, vessel's position is currently at a bearing of 040 and a sounding of 20 meters. So you've got your vessel's position there. Now you have to draw a course to set to a position with Citadel Island light bearing 350 and a distance of 3.8 nautical miles. So let me find the Citadel Island lighthouse and uh, draw the bearing first because that's where I have to draw the course from. So you can see here that uh, Citadel Island lighthouse is here. All right. So you can see here that so you can uh, draw 350 and 3.8 nautical miles. Uh, again, take the inner edge of the 
parallel ruler and draw 350 so that is where your vessel will be wearing 350 right and a distance is of 3.8 nautical miles so you come to the edge of the chart and you come to the edge of the chart and you measure 3.8 nautical miles so as you can see here uh, this is uh, 15 to 10 so that means each division is 1 nautical mile and the ones in the middle are 0.2 nautical miles so I have got 1, 2, 3, 3.8 will be somewhere here right because this is 4 and there are 5 nautical miles right so 3.8 nautical miles is here so what I'll do is I'll put it on the Citadel Island Lighthouse and I'll put my 3.8 nautical miles here so this is where I have to reach all right so this is where i have to reach so from my current position to this position here and this will give me my course my course line as well as the distance i have to travel so if i even if i don't have to draw the line even if i don't draw the line i can get my course line off here it's about one three one three three one three one three three is what i am getting if i am not wrong one three three degrees true so my course line would be and i'll draw it better i draw it to show you what to do oh so it was not a straight line sorry so let me draw the course line first and then measure it so that's why you can see that uh, it's been years that i've done any kind of chart work so i'll draw my course line make sure the positions are aligned there you go so if i measure this course now on my compass rows i get 135 or 135 degrees or 134 degrees true so my course line here becomes 134 degrees true so i can write 134 degrees true here and my distance i can measure if i just take a uh, on the side if i just take two nautical miles here and i measure two nautical miles every so or rather I, not like that i rather take a bigger distance so let me take 10 nautical miles here that will be better so then i know how much is the distance so 10 nautical miles so you can see this is 10 right then i go 10 here 10 20 so that makes it 20 and my distance will be somewhere around 22.3 nautical miles so my distance is 22.3 nautical miles all right so i've got my course and distance for the first leg of the voyage i will then move on to the second leg of the voyage all right all right so now we are in the next section of the question so here we have to go from the position that we have uh, fixed before we have to go due south of uh, southeast point lighthouse so first i have to find southeast point lighthouse this is my southeast point lighthouse all right and i have to go due south due south means i have to go 180 degrees just like due north is uh, 000 degrees due south would be 180 degrees so i will draw 180 degrees again there should be no confusion you always draw the bearing towards the sea because your ship will be at sea right you don't draw it towards the land people get confused i've seen students getting confused not knowing where to draw it and i say just use your common sense sometimes of course there will be situations so that's why you have to know how to draw the bearing because sometimes both sides could be sea uh, but uh, anyhow in this case you have to go due south from south east point lighthouse and one mile so again i will measure one mile from the side of the chart this is the distance and on mercator charts try to measure the distances uh, uh, parallel to where you are drawing your distances all right because the distance between latitudes uh, increases in mercator chart so always draw take the scale uh, which is appropriate parallel to the position in question all right so here you go this is one mile south so i've got my next position now so this is where i'll have to go and i have to measure my course and distance from my previously drawn position to this position here so for that i will join these two positions all right so i will i will join these two positions here and i will measure my course from these two positions so let me see what uh, course i get so i use the inside edge of my calculator uh, my parallel ruler to read the course not the outside edge so put the inside edge in the middle of the compass rows and uh, read the course there so you i'm getting about 07 8 degrees you might get 077 or something like that depends on the pencil and uh, the thickness of your pencil and all that but let's say i am getting 078 degrees that's what i am getting let me see what distance i get this is a short distance so i can just measure it uh, from here i don't have to 
uh, go 10 miles at a time. So if I measure the distance here, you can see this is about uh, 5 miles, 6, 7, 8 point, uh, somewhere around 8.3 is what I am getting. So this is 8.3 nautical miles. All right, your answers may slightly differ and this is the thing with chart work. Uh, it depends uh, on, uh, like I said, I think I'm repeating myself here on, on the kind of pencil, how thick is your coastline, uh, so and so. Try to use a thinner pencil. Always use HB pencils or thinner than that. I'm, I'm using the ones that I have. Like I said, I have not come use been doing chart work for a long time, so I don't even have the right pencils. Probably I will get it one day. All right, and now you're on the final leg of the journey. So the final leg of the journey is that from here, from this position that you have drawn, uh, one mile due south of uh, Southeast Point Lighthouse, you have to go to a latitude and longitude given to you which is 38 degrees 54.1 minutes south and 14638.2. So 14638.2 is uh, what I will draw and then I will draw the latitude as well. So remember these are south latitudes so you have to be very careful of uh, what is 54. So, be, so let me draw 14638.2 and I will draw the next position. So 14638.2 again I use the inside edge of the parallel ruler I keep it uh, in line with the longitude 14638.2 is here so if you can see here um, your longitudes are marked 35 and to 40 so 38.2 will be here 36 37 38.2 somewhere here I'll show it to you uh, just a minute so I will draw it close to so you can see here the longitudes uh, is 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38 so always be very mindful of the uh, scale of the chart and the interval at which the longitudes and latitudes are drawn so otherwise you might make some errors and mistakes all right and then the other position the latitude is 38 degrees 54.1 so like I said this is a south latitude so remember latitudes increase as you go southward not like north hemisphere where latitudes increase as you go northward so 50 is here as you can see so I'll come to the edge of the scale so 50 is here 51, 52, 53, 54 and then 55. I have to draw 54.1. So I will be going towards and again I have draw, put the inner edge of the parallel ruler with the latitude line. So 54.1 will be somewhere here. And again it's not crossed my longitude yet but at least I know how to cross it. Alright so 38.2. and 54. So I've got my next position here. All right, so here, this is my final position. This is where I have to go from my last position. So all I'll do is I'll join these two position lines together. And I will measure the course and the distance of these two position lines. All right, so let me just straight away go into the compass rows. I will get the course here. So the course I get if I put the inner edge of the parallel ruler is about 0, 3, 0, 3, 4 degrees true. So 0, 3, 4 degrees is what I am getting as my course line. And let me see what is the distance I get. So again this is the manageable distance I can just, all the distances were manageable here. Not that it were not but I will just measure it off one, one time. So you can see this is what I am doing. Then I will come to the edge of the chart somewhere here. I can put my all right so this is about so this is 5 10 15 uh, 16 17.7 uh, or 17.7 .7 is what I am getting so just be very careful here 5 10 15 16 17.7 .7 is what I am getting so my distance would be 17.7 .7 nautical miles so this is what I write on the edge of my course so you can see against all the lines I have written the courses and the distance I should have written it more neatly but I'm just solving a question here you should make it very bold when you're doing passage planning put your courses very bold put your distances very bold uh, write that it's a true course and this is not about passage planning I'm just trying to solve some questions here so when I take you guys through a passage planning assignment I will show you exactly what to do and how to do it uh, so we will talk about that later on but here right now I solved the question you got the positions you got the courses and distance remember to mark them carefully uh, recheck your work every time and before you write down the answer so I'll stop the video now guys all the best and thank you for watching bye